Welcome back to Fox 9 Morning News. We all know a lot of food is consumed at the fair, a lot of milk, a lot of butter, and for that and so much more, we have our dairy farmers across the Midwest to thank. Tomorrow is the last day of the 2024 State Fair, and it's time several royal members of the fair will likely remember for the rest of their lives. Jared Pienberg is at our Fox 9 booth with some royal members. Uh, a big week for these ladies. Good morning, Jared. Uh, good morning. Yeah, yeah, I'm out here with the royalty. At, at the fair, uh, it, it's been fun. It's been a little bit cool just waiting around, sitting in our in our stands here at, at Fox 9. But we have uh, the Princess K finalists and Princess K of the Milky Way, Rachel. How are you guys doing here this morning? We are wonderful. We are almost to the end of the fair, and we have been really enjoying it. Uh, I was kind of wondering, how do you describe to someone that's maybe not from around here uh, what it's like to be, to be a member uh, of what what you do? It's absolutely incredible being able to share the passion that we have for the dairy community and sharing the promoting dairy products and sharing our love for cows and being able to share that passion with all of the finalists and being here today has been awesome. And a big part of it is getting your face carved into butter. I think like, all Minnesotans uh, know know about that, which is awesome. And Afton, you're set for today. You're up next. Uh, do you want to tell a little bit about what you're expected to do today? So I get to sit in the butter booth for approximately six to eight hours. It just kind of varies. We have a few breaks for lunch and whenever Jerry gets cold and of course the parade. But for the most part, just kind of sit there and talk to the crowd whenever I can and interact with Jerry. Six to eight hours. <laughs> there we go. We got the video up uh, of, of Jerry working on, uh, on the butter. Um, right away now I'm like what do you what do you do do you get us gonna keep it when it when it's done Caitlin let's go to you yes we do so we get to keep the sculpture and the scraps and then we have different plans of what we're gonna do with each of the scraps and the butterhead I wonder how long that'll will last if we keep <laughs> it in the in the deep freeze bring it out in 20 years and, and try a little uh, <laughs> of butter uh, uh, Kenzie uh, what what's it been like for you uh, this week it's been absolutely amazing. This whole experience has really been a dream come true since I was a little girl. I watched the girls in the butter cooler getting their likeness sculpted. And yesterday when I got my likeness sculpted, that was really the most amazing feeling. That's great. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just so neat. And it's just like, when you think of the Minnesota State Fair, I feel like that's one of the, like, the things people are like, oh yeah, the, the face is carved in the butter. So, uh, well, thank you guys for being out here this morning and, and joining us with, uh, with how chilly it is. Um, is there anything else you wanted to, to add of, of just being a member of, of, of what you do and, and Princess K of the, of the Milky Way? Yeah, absolutely. My role will continue throughout the next year, but while we're at the State Fair here, be sure to stop in the dairy building and check out those butter sculptures and stop at the dairy goodness bar to pick up some ice cream or some dairy treats perfect perfect all right we were talking food right in the break before we came here what is there something on the list for you guys today i'll just go down the line i love the ice cream in the in the good dairy goodness bar oh. i would have to agree <laughs> Me too, or the gluten-free cheese curds. <laughs> I really want to try the flavor of the fair, Rockstar Berry, which you can get at the Dairy Goodness Bar. Well, there you have it. Maybe uh, some new destinations for some folks here today, or one that they had uh, planned along the way. Thank you so much for, for being, uh, and the sun's coming up here. It's really hard to see. <laughs> it's just, just blasting us right now. But uh, it, you can already tell it's starting to warm up a little bit, which is good news, because it was kind of cool out here for uh, this morning while you've been in the shade, or if you find some shade out here, you're going to notice that.